Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. Many of you may remember my video from February where I shared research about the seed Nigella sativa which was found to increase testosterone, sperm count, and ejaculate volume among other markers, significantly after just three months of daily consumption. And I've linked that video below in case you either missed it or you simply want a refresher. I went into detail about dosing and the outcome, so I definitely recommend that you check that video out because this video is more of a follow-up. Since I released that video, people have asked me to provide updates, including blood results from before and after a period of consuming Nigella sativa. Now, I didn't personally get any blood work done, but I will say from my own experience, which is purely anecdote, uh, that I did notice an increase in my sex drive, aggression, and even energy levels since I began consuming Nigella sativa. And I began around the time of that video's release, so it's been about two and a half months for me now. Uh, and I'm still consuming the seeds daily. Nothing else about my diet or lifestyle has changed uh, during this period of time. Uh, same training program, same precise diet, sleep schedule, etc. You see, I am rather autistic for lack of a better word, in the manner that I approach things. I am incredibly systematic and I avoid spontaneity as much as possible. In fact, I am so exacting in my approach to life in general that I was once bestowed the college nickname Mr. Schedules by a group of close friends. This is just how I've always been. Nonetheless, my results are still anecdote. The improvements that I experienced could have occurred for any number of reasons such as a change in season that I am just not taking into account. I've always said, and I will say it again, anecdote is not conclusive evidence for anything. Uh, it's interesting, perhaps, but it's not conclusive. So if I won't accept anecdote when it comes to, say, carnivores or ex-vegans, then I won't be a hypocrite and tell you to hold uh, my own anecdote in some higher regard either. And it wasn't as though my sex drive or energy levels were inferior prior to introducing these seeds into my diet. And I also just have a naturally aggressive personality, so all of these heightened experiences could even be chalked up to a placebo effect. It's hard to say without proper controls and metrics. Uh, but this past weekend, I received a private message on Facebook, which I was given permission to share with you all. Enter this video. And... Hey, I even found a new suggestive thumbnail photo, just as I had for my previous video about these seeds. On that note, this video is likely getting demonetized, but hey, what else is new? The progressives at Google are super cool with pedophiles and baby killers, but mentioning the word testosterone or dropping a few F-bombs uh, or showing a photo implying that an adult woman is receiving a massive facial Sorry, no Google AdSense for you. Anyway, one of my viewers named Stefan reached out to thank me for my video on Nigella Sativa. Stefan had achieved some mad results, and he actually got blood work done, both before and after, to prove it. After just 49 days, or a little over one and a half months, of consuming 5 grams of Nigella Sativa per day, which is about a teaspoon per day, as well as raw onions and 100 milliliters of pomegranate juice, his total testosterone increased by approximately 20%, his free testosterone increased by approximately 48%, his estrogen dropped by approximately 4%, and he reduced his sex hormone binding globulin by approximately 28%. So let's say you're an average dude with average testosterone levels as seen here. If you achieve the same increase in total levels that Stefan had, you'd hop from 679 nanograms per deciliter to about 815 nanograms per deciliter in a little over a month and a half. Furthermore, Stefan's hair grew faster. He used to shave his head every three weeks. Now he has to shave weekly. Also, Stefan confirms that my perverted fireman joke holds water. No pun intended. Okay, maybe a little pun intended because that's just how I roll. In other words, Stefan is shooting bigger loads. Uh, no, I did not ask him for evidence of that. And I doubt any of you are complaining that I hadn't. 
Uh, and no, I won't ask his girlfriend to verify it either, despite uh, her also being a viewer of this channel. There is just some detective work that is completely unnecessary. Uh, but Stefan wasn't the only viewer who sent me a PM after that video release. A dude named Jesse had reached out to me to inform me that dosing a full tablespoon of Nigella Sativa made him extremely horny all day long and made his dick, I quote, way bigger. Granted, Jesse didn't provide any blood results like Stefan had, and thank fuck he did not send me any dick pics. Uh, so we are just left to take his word for it, and I'm fine with that in the case of uh, dick pics. Uh, and even though Stefan did supply his blood work, it is still N equals 1, and we lack controls to account for other factors. For example, whether or not the raw onions and or pomegranate juice that he consumed played some role in those results. And if they did play some role, how much of one compared to the seeds? As there does appear to be human research, though very limited, demonstrating an increase in testosterone levels from pomegranate juice consumption. And the same goes for onions, though again, very limited with regards to human model research. Nonetheless, I thought that this would still make for an interesting video update, and if some of you were previously on the fence about trying the seeds for yourself, perhaps this video will inspire you to take that plunge. Though I'm really not sure why you wouldn't have already barring any allergies. After all, Nigella Sativa isn't a supplement. It's a whole food with a quality nutrition profile that includes dietary fat, protein, fiber, and various vitamins and minerals. So it offers value beyond any potential hormone enhancing benefits. And if you watched my video from this past April about dietary fiber, you'd know that the more of it that you get, the better your fitness outcomes may be, such as grip strength and speed. And Nigella Sativa provides 2.3 grams of fiber per tablespoon. I've also linked that video below for your convenience. Furthermore, the seeds are only $12.99 for a pound of an organic product, the very same product that I purchased back in February, which will last you around six months at the effective research dose of 2.5 grams per day or a half a teaspoon serving. That's only a little over two bucks a month pretty damn cheap. If you're interested, I've linked the product in the description below for your ordering convenience. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below and don't forget to uh, hit the like button and share this video if you found it interesting. And if you are one of the many viewers actually who had purchased Nigella Sativa because of my video, I'd love to hear your personal experiences in the comments below. Furthermore, Stefan has also been known to comment under my videos, so feel free to post any questions you may have for him below as well. Uh, it's possible that he will read and respond. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already and press the bell button for notifications and check back here weekly. All three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss any new content from me. And check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. This way you can put those optimized hormones to good use with a quality science-based training program. Hell, use the coupon code SEED20 at checkout to secure a 20% discount on all of my ebooks, including my ebook bundle, which you already save about 14 bucks uh, purchasing. Uh, thank you all for your support, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.